sun finally came out. <clears throat> I think that when it's raining, it depresses me. I had thought like, oh, I'm gonna get some rainy day projects done, like, um, you know, uh, boxes for the potatoes, um, break up my wheel hoe. Um, so all I managed to do really was get my wheel hoe out of the box. <laughs> and then when I realized I had to like glue the dowel into between the handles, I, uh, it was just too much. I couldn't do it. So all I've got so far is a lot of super gross footage with slugs in it. It's almost midnight and I found a slug that is attacking this poor, sad basil. Out with the kale, I found two big ones. Gross, man. I go hunt, out hunting for slugs <laughs> and I find sugar snap peas everywhere <laughs> because I kind of have a little bit of an ongoing slug problem. The kale is looking way better. I, I got one of the slugs in the greenhouse that was just like really going to town on one of those poor basil plants. But um, I need to make a moat, a sand moat around the garden. this tarp stretched out here and it's supposed to get hot the next number of days and when I say hot like oh my god it's gonna get like 70 degrees <laughs> I checked on the tarp somewhat closely but um, I might have actually dragged some of the slugs off if there were any um, and but I'm thinking it's sand like they're just gonna die right uh, I did find one slug I found quite a few slugs on the cardboard that was laid out here to some other weeds and so um, can't do that can't do that anymore I'm going to take the slugs out and kill them and then I have to I got to do something with this cardboard I can't put it somewhere on the property because it may have a little tiny slugs that I missed or slug eggs or something so uh, I'll figure out how to do that next so I've got a big plastic um, bag it actually has some holes in it but I think it'll do I don't have any new plastic bags and I'm just going to throw this cardboard in there and throw it into our garbage can which they pick up Thursday morning. Okay you guys I've been taking this sand off the top of the expanded garden area and I've been moving it over here um, in front of the peas. So I have everything in front of the peas with a big oh I don't know four or so or more inches of sand in front there, all the way up to the greenhouse. Ooh, I'm not sure how much I'll be able to get done at the end there for the kale. Uh, the bugs, uh, the, some, a few mosquitoes and actually quite a few minoceums are coming out, so I'm strapped down the bug net and see what I can get done the rest of the evening. down and I'll just put it right back up but I probably didn't do quite as a substantial a little moat around the kale as I had done around the peas oh some of this 
Oh, somebody said to me, son of a biscotti eater, which is pretty funny. Okay, but you can see. Um, I do have a moat all on the side of the garden. And if I was really good, oh my gosh, the bugs. Um, I would go ahead and continue that sand along down side, the side of the bank here. Um, but bugs are kind of bad. I'm call it quits for today. I'm going up uh, the river tomorrow with Tyler and a friend. Uh, we're gonna go up the Stikine River and check out stuff. Uh, I'll share pictures with you guys if you're interested in like uh, glaciers and rivers and things like that. sunny today but it's gonna to rain tomorrow so I want to try and plant some things out I've got some green onions in a little pot there I've got this kale that I'm actually thinking about getting rid of because I was afraid there's slug eggs in it since the slugs were crawling all over it earlier but you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and plant them out and just keep an eye on them we've got these little thing of herbs and these lettuces which I think I might let grow for a little bit longer before I plant those out. So the plan would be to plant the kale in these two rows and then go ahead and put the onions right by the, the ones that are already there, by the sugar snap peas and the carrots. And then I was thinking about just trying a little tiny, tiny plot of spinach right next to the sugar snap peas to see if um, shading them out half a day will, and you know, decreasing the day length will help those grow and not bolt the seed. And then I was thinking in this row here where the spinach used to be, I could just plant some carrots and maybe um, put some seaweed slurry in between them because that seems to be helping a lot. So then at the far end by the potatoes, um, I would plant out that the next succession of lettuce. These are ready to cut. I don't know what, what I'm going to do with all that lettuce, but anyway. And then maybe I could plant the herb right here. And then I was thinking about pulling out that little thing of radishes at the very end because they are just not growing. And planting a whole thing of sugar snap peas all along this whole row, moving this table, and that would be another thing of sugar snap peas. See how that goes. Not sure what I'm going to decide. Okie dokie, folksies. I'm going to do a little bit of hoeing first before I plant out. I'm going to start with the kale and uh, move on from there. You see my little deer friends in the back? <laughs> Don't see them. <gasps> They're just hanging out. It's so funny. Hey, so I'm about ready to plant out my little tiny kale starts. I got a little bit of uh, sun and wind burn when I was out on the boat yesterday. Uh, I, I kind of need a hat with a wider brim. So I just planted my little scallions down here beside the ones that were planted before. And I actually spaced them uh, quite a bit closer uh, just to see how they do at that spacing. Oh yeah, and I also spaced my new kale starts a foot apart and I only have um, you know two in each row because I didn't have that many plants and I thought well then I'll see you know how well they do at that spacing I still have never um, after all these years not figured out what is the best spacing for kale for me so yeah I'm gonna try that all right so I got uh, sugar snap peas planted here um... I spaced the seeds about one to two inches apart and I just jammed them in with my finger instead of making a furrow because I think that's a much better technique. Uh, when I did the furrow they seemed to not go deep enough and then they were floating on top. Anyway, I put this uh, insect barrier, this is new stuff that I have, 
and um, I thought because the Agrabon that I have doesn't really let water through that great, and we're supposed to get some rain, so I'd like to it was to get rained in because I'm not watering it in right now. Um, and also, I don't need really the the warmth that an Agrabon row cover would give, and this has um, kind of a little more larger spacing, so more air can go through, more water can go through. And I wasn't able to get, you know, the wire or the hoops that go with it because they were too expensive to ship. Um, so I'm just laying it flat on the ground for right now. So yeah, I um I could probably get some more things done. I was hoping to like plant spinach and carrots, but I kind of want to steal some of my uh, rotted seaweed and amend the beds for just those things, those um, crops. And I would also need to cut uh, insect barrier for those too and lay that out because uh, I think that the birds might be getting into seeds if I don't do that. Um, I don't have the problems with the migrating birds, but even just like the robins and um, the juncos, I don't know if they might get into it. So I just don't want to deal with that. So it's just might take a little bit longer and it's starting to cloud up and it might rain earlier than they say. So yeah. I'm gonna call that quits for now and uh, start working on the old video and get that out to you guys. Um, I'll have a video coming up about our little boat trip up the Stikine River to Shakes Glacier and uh, us driving through an iceberg, which wasn't very smart, but we did it anyway. And so I'll get that up later after this video. And you might be wondering, why is she not playing in her new sandbox? And the thing about it is because stuff and things! The story is that there's quite a bit of sand here. And the tiller does not till the sand into the soil because it's too thick. And so what we're going to have Todd do is come out and stir it around with his big equipment. And then... I can come and till and yank the sticks out. So then, he'll need to do that when it's sunny. And we just have not been getting enough days of sun in a row. So it will be a while. That's alright, because I don't even have enough seeds to go in there. I'm almost out of my sugar snap peas. I've got some clover though. Anyway, it might be a while. What's that? Silly, did you jump for joy?